How to get all the new doors badges in only 8 minutes. Let's go! Make sure to subscribe. Wrong room. To get this badge just choose the wrong door when you're in a multiple choice room. Evil be gone. First you'll have to get a crucifix. So either buy one from Jeff. Find one in a chest. Or pick one up off the wall. Then just use the crucifix on any entity. In plain sight, hide from either rush or ambush by staying out of their line of sight. Stay out of my way. Use a crucifix against Rush. Hold the crucifix out in your hands and click when he gets near to use the crucifix. Unbound. Use a crucifix against Ambush. Take a breather. Use a crucifix against Seek. Oops. All figured out. Use a crucifix against figure. You can do this in either room 50 or 100. You can't see me. Use a crucifix against the eyes. You don't need to be close to the eyes. Just make sure you're holding the crucifix when you look at it. I hate you. Use a crucifix against Screech. When you hear Screech whisper do not turn to it. This will dodge the attack. Just wait for it to attack while holding the crucifix. Two steps ahead. Use a crucifix against Walt. Outwitted. Use a crucifix against Doob. To get this badge just walk into an incorrect door while holding the crucifix. It stares back. For this one just play with other people. Wait in the first room and have them go ahead. After 5 rooms or so you will get teleported and receive the badge. Interconnected. Preserve an item in the rift. The rift can be found in room 100. Simply flick the lever then head back to the staircase. Go downstairs and you will find the rift. You can place any item in the rift and it will save it for your next run. Just make sure you put the item in the rift before completing the fuse box or you won't be able to go downstairs. Supporting small businesses. Purchase any item from Jeff. Please donate. Fill up Jeff's tip jar. This will cost you 100 coins so make sure you have enough by room 52. Herb of Veritas, purchase the skeleton key from Jeff. Then when you reach the hospital open the store with the skeleton key. Now you can pick up this herb. The Herb of Veritas will give you regeneration. Detour. To get this badge you first have to purchase 2 lockpicks in the starting elevator. Next collect at least 250 coins for Jeff. When you reach Jeff's shop you want to purchase the skeleton key. Do not use the skeleton key in the hospital. Instead you want to head to room 60. Behind this dresser you will find a hidden path. This gate will be locked so you want to head back and into room 61. Go downstairs and flip the lever. Next head back upstairs and back into room 60. Follow the hidden path and use your two lockpicks on this door. Then use the skeleton key and head in. Click continue. When you reach the rooms you will receive the badge. Back on track. To get this badge repeat the same steps as the previous badge. Buy the two lockpicks. Buy the skeleton key. and head into the hidden path. Now you'll be in the rooms. You can purchase this flashlight here for 10 coins to make seeing in the further rooms easier. 
In the rooms there are three new entities, a 60 which spawns after room 60, a 60 behaves like Rush. A120 which spawns after room 120. A120 comes from the front instead of the back and it can bounce back and forth a few times kinda like ambush. And finally there is A90 which spawns after room 90. A 90 can sometimes spawn in combination with either A60 or A120. When a 90 shows up you have to stand completely still. This includes no turning your camera. To dodge A60 or A120 simply hide in a locker until the coast is clear. After room 150 or so you will find an exit door. Walk through this exit door to receive the back on track badge. A1000. This badge is similar to the previous badge but instead of getting to an exit door you have to reach the final room. You cannot revive in the room so getting this badge is very difficult. If you need more help on getting this badge you can watch my previous video which is only 2 minutes long. I give some helpful tips and show off more of the final room. This final room is A1000 which takes around 2 hours to get to. There is one last new hidden doors badge. It is for completing door 100 after the Hotel Plus update. Doors 1 through 90 are basically the same as before besides the new dupe doors. Doors 90 through 100 have completely changed though. After passing through the courtyard you'll find yourself in the Stark Greenhouse area. The new greenhouse has traps on the floor that will damage and stun you. This makes it especially difficult because it is very hard to hear when Rush is coming in the greenhouse. Luckily if you bring the candle it helps you out. When the candle gets blown out it means an entity is about to attack. Once you get to room 100 you will also notice that it too is different. First you have to flick the lever. Then run away from the figure. Next you need to look around the map for fuses and the fuse room key. If you have a lock pick you can use that on this door instead. Once you complete the fuse box like normal you run up the stairs and exit to get this hidden badge. That is all for the vid. Thanks for watching till the end and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subs. See ya.